down a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jujitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter. for this fight, and round one is now on the way. The classic styles, in some respects, between a grappler and a five-tool player type, but certainly the more well-rounded fighter has no problem engaging on the ground. No, he doesn't mind grappling, but he also has the ability to fight on the feet, something the grappler does not really feel comfortable with doing. He seems to be behind the eight ball a little bit, but let's see how he manages getting this fight to the ground. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab, PC? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated... Well, he told us on Thursday, you don't get paid to fight 15 minutes. To that end, early takedown is there. His ideal fight is a grind as ugly as he can make it. It's better for him. And with this early takedown, he ensures that he can start to wear the gas tank for a long time. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, he hurt him bad with a jab. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Beautiful body kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, sting Nice move and punch. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. And he landed the right hand there. Blocks the shot. Big power shot there. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. It's good. You can tell he's been working on that. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Straight right. He misses. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. 
Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. I need more out of you. Nice punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, Superman punch is good. Nice combination there by the Korean Super Bowl. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Oh, nice job to land it. Knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Ten seconds to go. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Joy gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Round two next. All right, now we'll get you some highlights, DC, from that previous round. You know he's got a penchant for landing those head kicks and certainly found that form in that previous round. Very rarely do you get a fight where a guy gets kicked in the head this many times. He better make some adjustments. He better keep his hands up or he's going to go good night very soon. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that imperative. So much volume, but accuracy. The accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? And just misses with that big right hand. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Great punch. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste good. Overhand now. Liver kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Choi's now dealing with a cheap cut. Just misses with the jab. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Beautiful knee. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish, John. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, and get... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he hurt him! Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick. 
big leg kick lands. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominance. Oh, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Let's try to establish that jab. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Oh, effective strike there by Choi. Punch is blocked. All right, single collar tie now. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. <laughs> nice punch lands over the top. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Shore. So inside the open guard of his opponent, got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Relax. Take a drink of water and listen. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, the action continues here and now as our next right, round gets underway. Right. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that he's hurt. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are going to count. He blocks the punch. Ooh, big shot lands. Straight right hand now just misses. That was a thudding leg kick. Just misses with the jab there. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Look at the turnover in that kick. He's gonna try to take him down. There you go. Oh, massive slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Side control now. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. It's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Oh, huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go change that finish, oh. John. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. A couple of hammer fists now. Back to the feet. Good 
kick. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. He goes upstairs for an elbow. Just out of range with that strike. Whoa! He's out! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 39 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chai. Right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for